Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So this comment from English Bob got me to do some research on brown fat. Following that research, it's obvious to me, in my humble opinion, that brown fat does have maybe some anti-aging and longevity benefits. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's look at brown fat and what it may herald with regard to longevity and anti-aging. So what is brown fat? It is a fact that our body is made up of different colours of fat. Scientists have identified that we have both white and brown fat. The brown colour is also sometimes referred to as beige or inducible fat. White fat or white adipose tissue, WAT, is the standard fat you've likely known about your whole life. It stores your energy in large fat droplets that accumulate around the body. The accumulation of fat helps keep you warm by literally providing insulation for your organs. In humans, too much white fat leads to obesity. Too much white fat around your midsection, called visceral fat, may also create a higher risk of heart disease, diabetes and other life-threatening diseases. Brown fat, or brown adipose tissue, BAT, stores energy in a smaller space than white fat. It's packed with iron-rich mitochondria, which is how it gets its colour. When brown fat burns, it creates heat. This process is called thermogenesis. During this process, the brown fat also burns calories. Brown fat is highly regarded as a possible treatment for obesity and some metabolic syndromes. Scientists used to believe that only babies had brown fat, which makes up about 5% of their total body mass. They also thought that this fat disappeared by the time most people reached adulthood. What researchers now know is that even adults have small reserves of brown fat, and it is typically stored in small deposits around the shoulders and the neck. In a way, brown fat is good fat. People with high levels of brown fat may have lower body weights. All people have some constitutive brown fat, which is the kind that you're born with. But there is another form of fat called recruitable brown fat. This means it can change to brown fat under the right circumstances. This recruitable fat is found in your muscles and in your white fat. There are certain drugs that can cause the browning of white fat. TCD is a drug used to help with insulin resistance and it can help with brown fat accumulation. However, this drug is also associated with weight gain and fluid retention, so it cannot be used as a quick fix for people looking to gain more brown fat. Exposing your body to cool and even cold temperatures may help recruit more brown fat cells. Some researchers suggested that just two hours of exposure each day to temperatures around 66 Fahrenheit, which is 19 degrees centigrade, may also be enough to turn recruitable fat to brown fat. So maybe turn down the temperature at night, as we know this also aids in better sleep. You may consider taking a cold shower or an ice bath. Turning the thermostat down a few degrees in your home or going outside in cold weather are other ways to cool your body and possibly create more brown fat. In one study, researchers overfed mice and found those with more brown fat burn more calories. They stayed leaner and healthier and they were also protected from obesity and other metabolic diseases. But that doesn't mean you should start eating more calories to activate more brown fat cells. As we know, overeating is still considered a major cause of obesity. Much, much more research is needed before this method can be recommended. For now, I will continue to follow a well-balanced diet made up of whole foods, fruit, vegetables, meat and fish. Other research proposes that a protein called irisin may help turn white fat into brown fat. Research has also shown that people who live a more sedentary lifestyle produce far less irisin compared to those who exercise more often. Specifically, levels are increased when people do more intense aerobic interval training. At present, there's not enough research to prove that exercise actually creates more brown fat but that's not an excuse to stay on the sofa until more studies are completed.
current physical activity guidelines for adults include doing one of the following every week. Two and a half hours of moderate exercise, such as walking or playing tennis, or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise, such as jogging or swimming laps. Most people should be able to achieve two and a half hours of walking a week. That's 20 minutes per day. So between 2,000 and 2,500 steps every day. Researchers are still trying to understand the genes that control how white and brown fat develop. In one study, scientists engineered mice to be born with very little brown fat by limiting a protein called type 1A BMP receptor. When exposed to cold, these mice created brown fat from the white fat and their muscles anyway, showing the power of recruitment. Researchers have also discovered that a certain protein called early B cell factor 2, EBF2, may also play a key role in building brown fat. When engineered mice had exposure to high levels of EBF2, it transformed white fat into brown fat, and these cells consumed more oxygen, which is a sign that brown fat was indeed producing heat and burning calories. A review of various studies has shown that brown fat burns calories and may help control blood sugar levels and improve insulin levels, which in turn decreases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. It may also help with removing fats from the blood, decreasing the risk of hyperlipidemia. Other studies show promise for brown fat's role in treating obesity. It's important to note that until recently, most studies on brown fat have been done on animals, particularly in mice. Far more research is now needed on humans. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. It looks as though brown fat does have the ability to stave off poor health. There are drugs that can help us do this, but also less drastic measures can be taken by ourselves to generate more brown fat. And it looks as though cold therapy is one of those techniques. By staying in a room that's below 19 degrees for longer than two hours, looks as though it is one of the options that is available to us. So I try to keep my bedroom as cold as possible. Um, you'll notice from the backgrounds of my last few videos, I'm starting to move around quite a lot, but I do try to keep the room as cold as possible. I always travel with a temperature gauge. It's now 21 degrees in this room at two in the afternoon. Uh, that said, at night when I draw the curtains and I turn the AC on as cold as possible with the fans or the, the blowers on as hard as possible, it does get down to 19 degrees in this particular room. Um, so I'm spending seven to eight hours in a room that is around 19 degrees, which I'm hoping is going to do the trick. Now, in the research I did, it didn't say whether or not if you stayed in a room that was below 19 degrees, what kind of dress you'd need to be in. Would it be okay to be in a bed? under a quilt or do you need to be in a room less than 19 degrees a la Wim Hof in a pair of shorts or dunking yourself in a cold bath. Probably more research needed from me. Well that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and you think that the benefits of brown fat are worth looking into further. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always please take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.